Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Rise Up, Obimi Being. Today, let's talk about receiving love and giving love. Two totally different things. There's a lot of people out there that can give love, but can you actually receive love? It's a big one, isn't it? How many of you hate your parents for not giving you love? And how many of you are carrying that into your own relationships. Why? Because you don't understand what love is. Is it a big excuse? Because you didn't get loved, and so therefore you carry that on? Here's the answer. If you came from no love, does that give you the encouragement to love? It's a big one. And it took me a long time to understand that because I didn't come from love, why didn't our parents love us? Is the answer to that. They wasn't loved neither. We live in a world where nobody really is giving love. You know why? Because everyone wants to receive love. But how do you receive it? It's very difficult, isn't it, when you don't trust the love. I went beyond all of that because... Once you get the feeling of understanding what love is, feel the energy of that feeling, all right? Somebody gives you that feeling and it makes you feel good. But how about if you could just have that feeling just by yourself, just by telling yourself to have that feeling? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to fall in love with life. I want life to be your relationship. Look at it as your boyfriend or girlfriend or girlfriend or boyfriend. Whatever's the case anymore, I'm not sure what's going on there, but whatever your relationship is, transfer it into the love of life. Fall in love with it, just like you would do a beautiful man or a beautiful woman. And why not? Because it's the thing that's actually missing in our lives. You've never fallen in love with life. And you may turn around and say, well, no one's ever showed me love. I think that's a great excuse, really, because no one showed me the love, but it didn't stop me from loving. How many relationships did you lose because they loved you more than you loved them? It's a big one. I used to look at my relationships and think, wow, why can't I look like that? Why can't I be that person that is given that love to someone else like someone else is giving it to me? And here's another thing. Have you noticed, if you are a very loving being, the person that's not receiving it will try to drag you down? God, there are so many things that we can talk about, relationships and what love is all about. But I discovered love to be a completely different thing because each being that I've met, they were showing me and trying to teach me what it means to be in love. Now, we all think love is an amazing feeling. That's what we all want, isn't it? But how about if it's just love that somebody is in your life? We need to re-educate ourselves we need to look at this system in a completely different way because understanding what spirit is, when you leave here and you go into that spirit world, you can't put nothing right. It's done. It's finished. It's ended. If you don't love your children, when you die and you think, oh my God, what have I done? There's no turning back. There's no answer. You can't help them. You can't love them. Why? Because you didn't love yourself and because you didn't get loved and so therefore you've passed it on to these people. When I look at my mum and I try to understand why wasn't she a loving being and of course you can carry a lot of hatred with that. But the more I delved into my mum's story I realised that she wasn't taught love. She didn't understand love because the very thing that she loved, which was her father, was taken away at a very early age. So her love had disappeared. And then when she went through relationships, of course, the same old story happens. Somebody has an affair, 
somebody moves on. It's all about broken love, isn't it? So how do you pass that on to your children if you're broken within yourself? Spirituality is all about repairing yourself and healing yourself and understanding that there's only one great feeling that you're all looking for and it is love. And so why can't you have it? Why can't you have it for yourself? I fell in love with life and I love life to the point where I don't actually want to leave this place anymore. Whereas I spent many years thinking, get me off of this shithole. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are saying exactly the same thing. So start to fall in love with life. A pebble, a rock, a blade of grass, a tree. You've heard me speak about it before. Be in awe. Be the most wonderful thing that you can be within your life because you're looking at life and thinking, oh my God, I've wasted my love on just one person? One? Is that it? We fall in love with one being? No, no, no. You fall in love with life. And that doesn't mean the people. Just fall in love with life. Go out into the forest. Sit there in the forest. And just feel the energy. And give your love to it. And that love will be returned. How many of you have shut down your love because you wasn't getting it back? Big mistake. Don't ever do that. Because some people really get a lot of enjoyment out of that because they can't love and so therefore they don't want you being in love. And that is the problem we've got going on on this planet because it doesn't matter what colour you are, white or black or yellow, whatever the colours are, I don't know. But because of something, you don't love them. It's crazy, right? So we have to understand this. Are we loving beings? I don't think so. I look at life and I look at the world. I don't see a lot of love going on here at this moment, especially with people in power. They have no form of love. So is this world ever going to find its world of love? I don't think so. It's going to be a long, long time and something big really does need to happen. And that can only happen when there is an awakened being that is in power. Not this political people, not this political shit that's going on right now. You have to find the ultimate conscious being that understands its people and its pains and its thoughts and its emotions and to understand the journey. I would love a politician to say, people, I know how you feel. Let's all pull together and make our nation the best nation in the world. That would be love. How many of you would put your hand up for that? We all would. We just want somebody to work with us and for us and not against us. My name is Trevor Rosley. I'll see you on the other side. Take care.